Epic fell Delta versus Shadowfar. What? What? Let's go. This is this is this is definitely we gotta go we gotta go try hard we gotta go try hard here. If we if we control like if they're gonna be they're gonna be slow right. If we can CC him, which we got CC for days right here. We got the dots to counter that whole damn. It should be pretty fun. Then up top we can we can run this right. I'm feeling a draw at least a draw right. Oh congratulations on Hathor by the way. Uh, Mark Dave says, "Just go to the M and M elements." Yeah, let's let's you know we 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 sent a message out. We said we're gonna do nine o'clock. Let's be, we gotta you know let's let's hang out. We'll finish this up. Uh, believe me, I'm excited as uh, you are to uh, give you some information because again, I've been I've had the opportunity to you know play around with it a little bit for the past few weeks, and so um, as any time you guys have seen me you know uh, play certain games or whatnot. Um, anytime we have an opportunity to try something out new, it's it's always exciting for any content creator because that's that's just a whole new learning process. Um, for those that follow, you know, Clay Tano, he just said the same thing where DHC is just kind of the new thing for him and he's enjoying it. He's he loves the aspect of like learning new stuff. I'm I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Uh, okay, so we need to get this wheel off and we need to reduce the attack bar on Fang Yang. Like I feel like Fang Yang is like gonna counter our whole strategy. Oh my god, rest in peace, Gemini, get good. Gemini, get good. Okay, we could still do this. Defense break's not gonna matter to Virad. Oh my god, Kumar, you gotta be kidding me right now. Stop, oh my god. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay. Let's try to stun, let's try to stun and get Virad back in the mix. Okay, I like that stun. That's a good stun. We're gonna get this back. All right, we're going to get this back. Let's get a couple dots in. This is not good because we have to deal with the cleansing aspect. If we can get the freeze, oh, don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback, ladies and gents. We got it. We're going to leave Feng Yang alone. We're going to keep on working on this, on this Kumar. Can we get him low enough for the dots? No, we cannot. We cannot. But we're going to try to freeze. Do we gamble with the freeze? No, we don't gamble with the freeze because he's going to cleanse. Oh my god, 200 IQ. I'm feeling really good right now. Let's go. This is all... It's all 200 IQ today. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? Do we sleep? Let's try to sleep this guy. Oh, rip. Now we freeze. Oh, so clutch. What, what's up with these violent procs? God, you don't see me violent procking. Come on. Get the, de get the attack bar. Okay, okay. What do we do? Do we work on Hodan? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. We need the stuns. We need the stuns on Fang Yang. We got it. We got it in. I think we got this, ladies and gents. Uh, I think we got this. Ichigo Night in That Fire says, What do you think of an attack, crit rate, crit damage, HP, troll, Fang Yang? Uh, the crit damage really doesn't make sense on Fang Yang because uh, the passive says it scales with the defense, so critical damage I don't think does a whole lot. Um, but that's just me. Uh, I think I think people in, in here have tried it out. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I can't believe it, though. We, we turned it around, ladies and gents. We got it. Like, this was not the smart thing to do. But again, we have that, that, that passion for doing something we're not supposed to do. Just so that if we get the win, we could be like, ugh, fist pump. Let's go up here. We're going to bring in our, our Perna killing team that tanks the Molong. But Vivichel, Vivichel is going to throw, throw, throw it up a little bit. He's going to he's gonna mix it up, right? If that Vivichel is somewhere, cuts it between one of my units when I go for the kill on Perna, it's going to be interesting. I know that his unit is, is Perna super fast, so this is perfect for us. We put the shield on. Defense break. You, we need the defense break. We need it. We got it. This is it. GG on the Perna. That's it. I don't even curve. We got it. Okay. So, not even going to break the shield right here. Take note. That's the power of uh, of Hathor. Or, sorry, <laughs> Hathor. I saw you say Hathor in the chat. That's the power of Helena, Fail. Uh, let's go ahead and try to stun her. Come on already. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Oh. Oh shoot, oh shoot. We can't, so we can't do anything, right? Molong is gonna go for that. I think he's gonna go for that unit. Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go, there we go. There you go, Helena. 
There you go, Helena. You go, girl. Stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> we need this team for later. We need because you know there's like a, a ton more Molong Perna comps, right? You know it is. Like you don't even don't even like try to kid around right now. You know that we're gonna have to deal with uh fifty thousand other Molongs in a second. So Oh wait, we did lose a Varus. We did lose a Varus, but that's okay. We hold we held on to our will. No nothing from uh CR. No stun. Again, guys, uh, 12k, but didn't break the 50%. I'm a big, big advocate of getting some of that, you know, shield will on your pump back if you can. Super, super strong versus the Pernas of Recons if you can tank it out. And uh, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just strip him right now. This is why I still run pump back versus, versus the uh, Recon. Let's go ahead and get this on. Bang, bang. Oh, my God. This is... This would be uh, crazy if we can get three wins. We got two out of the three. We're not holding anything back right now, but we gotta go. We gotta go for the green bars, okay? We gotta go for the green bars. Salt Mac. I don't know if I've gone up against Salt Mac. There's the Molong that we were talking about, but we don't have a Varus, or we don't. Yeah, we lost the Varus, so this would be perfect to take out. But we need a Varus for that one. We need a Varus. God, that would be like just. This would be like the longest fight ever. So much sustain. This like this is like set up for Molong just to go nuts. And just oh. Like this looks it just looks like it hurts. You know? Unbelievable. Huh. Let me let me see here. Let's see what we got for Wolf. Again, we don't have we, we have Molong Perna, Molong Perna, right? We could do Wolf. Oh my god, this is a, one of the teams that I use. Uh, Plusle, I guess that's how I pronounce it. Plus is pretty good. Let's see. What build do you have on Helena? Well, I'll show that real quick. Helena, I prefer her on a violent set if at all possible, right? Like 99% uh, of the, the units out there that are <laughs> created. But uh, her right now, um, if I can't go violent, I do everything that in my power to get like crazy effective HP. So she's running the Swift Broken set. Uh, HP, 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 triple HP. I want to get her as tanky as possible. Um, I want her heal, uh, her shield to be as, as, as strong as possible. And of course, with a decent amount of substats on the critical rate and, uh, you know, a good amount of speed. Now, mind you, I'm not running critical rate on the second, on the slot four. So, you know, it's, you know, it, it's hurting me a little bit because she's super low, but I generally pair her, I generally pair her with, um, I generally pair her with the, what's it called? With uh, Theo, and Theo uh, puts me up there in like the 90% critical rate, like 86% or whatever. So, no, 88. I can't calculate. Um, but, yeah. Super fun unit. Definitely recommend her if you have her. But you need skill ups to make her work. Okay. Let me see. that. This one would be kind of a pain. We looked at Saul. Did we look at Winner? Oh, my God. They all have this combo. They all have this combo. Now this guy, I don't think I've gone for. Okay, let's let's do this one. We haven't like I do not recall going after this one here. Let's try this out. I'm going yellow up top. I'm going for that Theo. We're gonna take out Theo. We're gonna gamble here with that Kamoon going up against it, but I'm I'm okay with that. As long as we can we don't give that defense break to Kamoon, we should be okay. We should be okay. And then downtown, let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. Should we go? Oh, we need we need some kind of. Oh, let me see. Do we have do we have better? We do have better, and we have Ethna. So listen, yeah, I'm gonna do the team that I've been doing quite a bit. Um, having a lot of fun with this one. Again, it's not uh, the the team synergy is not optimal, but hey, it gets it done. No, that that was not a violent Helena. Yeah, if that was a violent Helena, then I'd be like. I would feel, <laughs> I would feel like a, like a champ. All right, so one down, one more to go. If we can get the stun on Theo right now, even if we don't take him out, that's okay. Uh, we got the lock on on Eladro, so let's go ahead and just snipe him real quick. Unfortunately, that shield's in play, so we still have to take him out. There we go. Yeah, I, I it's so weird. I, I tell you what, guys, um, the strength of of Lagmaron when you got him 
set up for like max damage and uh, just like everything like in full play like the speed lead the attack buff the swift buff you know like you got it all like he's super he just like even if he does i used to think it was a little too much like he was overkilling he was doing like 70k damage on some units but it's it's not every time that i'm gonna have that perfect like lineup of buffs available so i'm, I'm glad that i still have that like set up for like an, uh, a lot of dps because again like if i crit here if I crit right here, I might kill him. Like, I might kill him. Well, maybe not. Not this time. But, I mean, we busted through a shield. And we brought him down 17k. You know what I'm saying? And this is Shadowvar. So, you know, like, this unit is super tanky. Super, super tanky. All right. Come on, oh, come on. Yeah, hey, get good. Long time no see, my man. Not really a long time, but feels like a long time. Let's go ahead and see if we can snipe this uh, unit right now. I feel like the uh, this is not going to work the way we want unless we crit. Oh, my God. Perna had something else to say about that. She's like, no, I'm going to give him the sliver of health. And then Harmonia is going to do Harmonia things and make me mad. It's all good, though. We got the defense break on us. So we might be able to... We might be able to... Uh, uh, get this done. Boom. There we go. There we go. Okay. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Definitely going for that Perna now. Har Harmonia can keep on doing that stuff, but per is the one that can turn it up, right? We lose Ethna. We're just going to play the... Just going to have to keep on going back and forth here. Forget immunity. We just want, we just want to keep Ethna alive. Ethna is on a really awkward build. Defense, critical damage, HP. Um, I made a super tanky just considering uh, what Lyra was talking about in the chat. You know, stats over sets. Do what you got to do to get the uh, stats that you need if you don't have the, you know, recommended sets out there, right? But uh, I think we got it. I think we got Is that going to be... I think we got three victories here. I'm pretty excited because it's been... It's Let me tell you something, man. Much respect, uh, mad respect for this guild, uh, Shadowfar. Like, uh, they have some amazing players in there, some really uh, innovative players. Um, you guys know we got a couple of them that have been uh, guests on our Educate and Dominate series. Uh, speaking of which, let me drop a little message. I'm going to drop a picture, a little important update in the, in the the uh, on YouTube down the road. But just want to let you know that we've already uh, pinned it down. Uh, for the month of June, as far as what our content is going to be for the next Educate and Dominate. Uh, we are going to be focusing on Siege Strategy, okay? So I've, I'm going to be bringing on board a guest that's been here before. Um, we're going to talk about everything and anything um, regarding uh, Siege Strategy. Talking about tower setups, you know, trying to figure out who you go up against. Uh, just, just overall the timing and, and, and things that people think about at the high level. So it's going to be super fun. Really excited to bring this person on board again. Not gonna drop the name because we gotta keep it secret. If I don't, I don't want you guys blasting this person away with a lot of stuff. But um, they are gonna be out of town uh, the first week of June. So once they get back, we're gonna record. And then once they get a record, you know me, I'm not gonna waste any time. I gotta get that video out for you guys, all right? Uh, but either way, shout out to Shadowfar one time, always uh, giving me a run for that money, trying to get it in. Uh, love these guys, love these guys, all right? 